Hello everybody and welcome back to Curse of the Dead Gods. In the previous episode, we managed to beat the second trial and I did say that I was going to save up and try and get Divine Perception. Gear found in chests or dropped by enemies that has a higher chance of being a higher rarity. So, we're going to go and get that, apply that, and then we've got a pretty good build going on already and we'll hop into our third adventure. Now this is a long adventure, the long exploration, meaning we've got three bosses to go to, definitely going to go for a weapon first. Um, I am definitely willing to try and get a legendary weapon again. That thing saved our ass in a big way last time, so I want to be making sure we do... Really? I got hit straight away there? That guy hit a lot more than I was expecting him to. A lot more. Don't worry though, we got it, we got it. But yeah, we definitely want to be looking around for weapons because that legendary weapon we got last time saved our ass big style. Like, it was insane how good that was. I'm getting a little better at dodging. Like I said, I went and made sure to save up for the uh, for the thing we just bought, the blessing we just bought. So I've had, I've had a little bit of practice just before I played when I was saving up for that. Getting a lot of greed kills right now, which is nice. Try and keep that going, shall we? Oh, that was lovely. The more greed kills we can get, the better. And it looks like we're on for a 14 greed kill streak. Very nice indeed. And, right, so we have the ability to buy these two here. We get ourselves the spike and the dagger. Now, the spike is pretty cool. Restore 1% max HP for each enemy killed. Or the hammer. Let's go for the spike, actually. Let's try that out. We can actually afford it in gold, so I think it's going to be worth getting that. Getting the spear here. Spear here. Spear here. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be really, really nice. Oh, it, it wants me to try and parry. I'm sorry, game, but parrying just ain't my style. Um, and we've got another weapon to go for here as well. So, obviously, having two weapons in a row isn't exactly the best thing, because it's going to be out of gold. We'd, we'd have to offer curse if we wanted to get anything anyways. But, I suppose it's not the most... Terrible thing to see if we get another legendary. Good thing is with this, we are going to get 10 healing for every kill. And when I'm getting hit like that, that's going to be very valuable. I've just got to make sure that I'm keeping my stamina managed at all times. It's a big, big part of this game and I, I very much am not good at it yet. As you can see. I just messed that up there. But it's alright, we'll, we'll get the hang of it. I just gotta make sure between enemies to make sure it's fully refreshed. Like now, let's run away. Oh, he just he just ended his own life. Well done, lad. Well done. <laughs> he destroyed himself there. Right, let's have a look what we've got here. So this is these are all normal weapons, so I'm pretty happy about this. Um deals critical damage to enemies below 50% HP. Poison attacks, um, removes one corruption, and we've got finishes deal critical damage. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to go for any of those yet because we're going to mainly be using our spear anyways. And plenty of you have mentioned to me that, yes, I shouldn't be using my two-handers as much as I am. But, you know me, I, I find something that I like, I find out it works, and I do end up sticking to it. And honestly, it's not done me too badly at all in this game so far, so I can't exactly complain. Pick up all the rest of that gold, and then we'll take this path here. But yeah, I want to make sure I'm not rolling into any combat, make sure I'm healthy and not going to punish myself. Okay, let's wait to heal. Oh, okay, okay, gotta remember, this thing does not, does not stun like the, um, the other two-handers we've used does. The other two-handers we use, a lot of them will stun when we hit enemies. This one is not quite like that. So let's let this guy destroy this wall. Head on through and get a little bit more gold to the left here. I'm starting to learn about the room layouts. That is one of the problems with this. Um, apparently, we can roll into those to break them as well. Thank you for whoever gave me that tip. Um, but yeah, we're, we're starting to get to the point now where we're seeing a lot of the same rooms again. That's one thing I do wish would be improved pretty damn sharpish with this game. It does not have a lot of. Wow. I did not think that guy would get me. It does not have a lot of room layout variety right now. Not all. Ooh, damn. Another 60 hit there. Don't worry, though. We are, we've got to remember we're healing back through most of our damage here, so... For the most part, we should be okay. Nice. We got ourselves gold offers rem remove five corruption. Not exactly the biggest thing to get, but it's still nice nonetheless. Right. Okay, so does this always deal crits? 
How did I not kill that guy then? And how did I not get hit? Does this always deal crits against big boys? Let me let me check on that. Um, I don't know, but it seemed to it seemed to deal a lot of crits to that big guy. Then maybe that's just part of the weapon, like built in feature sort of thing. So now we've got enough to go for both of these. I am going to go for max health and damage. Got to remember that we're healing for max health percentage. Not we're not getting an exact amount of healing. We're healing for max health percent. Like 1% of max health. So we always want to be going for that max health. We want to be making sure our max health is as high as we can get it. Meaning that whenever we heal, we heal for just a little bit more each time. It's, not, it's of course not going to be a massive amount more. But it is going to be worthwhile. Right. I always like to go the left path. I'm not sure why, I just, I, for some reason I feel like there's going to be something extra here. Ah. Get him. Got him, nice one. Yeah, we're getting 12 healing now, so that's even better. Uh, yeah, we can go for that, deals critical strike against weakened enemies. We don't have anything that weakens enemies yet, but... If we end up getting anything that does, then that's going to be nice to have. It's going to be nice to have indeed. I didn't even notice we actually removed our, we removed five corruption there, so that means we're not going to get a curse at the end of this, as long as we don't get hit by any curse enemies, which is really nice. But the crits this thing's doing is really, really nice for us right now. Luckily, this thing doesn't actually directly attack us, so we can pretty much just whirl in without worrying about our stamina too much. There we go. Lovely. We could even charge this thing up and do that attack, but I tend not to use the charge up attacks too much. We've got ourselves three dexterity. Three dexterity is increased damage, so I'm not at all sad about that. I'm quite happy indeed. Right. Um, let's go for gold again. Let's go for gold. But yeah, it's really nice that we got that um, removed five corruption there, because now we didn't get a curse after going into that room. We, we, we're go going to be one room delayed on receiving a curse, which is, of course, very nice for us. So yeah, I'm, I'm, tr I'm struggling to find out what causes the um, what causes the crits here. Maybe, ooh, blazing shield. Um, yeah, we'll go with the blazing shield. I'm thinking, actually, it's if I hit an enemy at a range. Yeah, if I hit an enemy at a specific range, it crits. Okay, that's actually really nice to know. Really nice to know indeed. And we got ourselves a Titan Slayer. Oh, oh my god. This is... This is difficult because... Uh, that's going to deal so much more damage and it still... It still increases... Yeah, let's go for the Titan Slayer. I... The, even though the Titan Slayer is slower, it does more base damage on a hit. It, it can destroy walls, it can stun targets, and it does crit damage to bosses. Um, yeah, we'll take those as well. Yeah, thank you for ever told me about rolling into pots. So that's very useful. Very useful indeed. Yeah, that spear's really nice. I do like that a lot. But the Titan Slayer is going to be so much better for this boss coming up. Um, and we really need all the help we can get because we are going on a long expedition here. We're going to be we're going to be taking on some um, some pretty hefty foes later on, especially when we start getting a lot more champions. And the Titan Slayer will take those out pretty darn rapidly. Uh, so let's have a look. We got one of these. That's very nice. So this is just kill all the enemies as fast as you can, sort of thing. Right, let's make sure this guy isn't spawning more and more people. Okay, that's a really nice thing we can do with this. There we go. We've got a pretty, mild, pretty nice amount of gold there. We've got 1,100, so that's going to be a hefty amount to take down with us. But yeah, that shield's going to be really nice if we can try and combo that. Does it require one stamina to do that? Yes, it does. It does. I thought it did, but I want to make sure. Uh, and then uh, here we are onto our champion at full health, which is very, very nice and also quite unusual. Uh, but yeah, with the Titan Slayer, we shouldn't have too much of a problem here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up to strike as soon as the dog spawns in. Right, there you go. Make sure I've got enough dodge rolls to get out of the way of these. We're dealing 69 a hit, nice. Right, let's make sure we're getting out of the way of this. The dogs are really easy to deal with, actually, because as soon as they spawn, you just try and hit them. And I, I, as you can see, we're dealing crazy damage to this guy. 
gonna deal another one. Oh no, he's not, he's throwing. He made a mistake there, but I spawned his dogs that have actually a better chance here, but he did not. If you can try and push it into him and get like a combo hit on him, it becomes really, really easy to deal with this guy. And there you go, first boss done. I, I really find this guy very, very easy. Uh, I mean, he should be considered easy the very first boss. Uh, but yeah, we did a good job of him, and we even removed our curse, and it was our only curse as well, which was nice. Um... 30% gold offering cost is actually kind of nice, and we got ourselves another shield here. Um, so, 25% to automatically uh, parry, nice one. Restore health for each kill, extra damage in darkness, and extra damage to uninjured targets. So, by the, by the automatic parry, I wonder how that works. I wonder how the automatic parry works. Let's go for a relic here. Um, because yeah, if, if the automatic parry is literally just when we get hit, there's a chance it'll just auto-parry without us doing anything, that's great. But if we have to have the shield up for that to work, then it might be more, a little bit more difficult, but I'm still fine with it, to be honest. So, I'm thinking... Yeah, don't, don't you heal that guy. Don't you heal that guy. So, we do 48 on a hit. Oh, okay, so we always, always want to enter combat with a hit from the shield. Oh god, we just lost a lot of HP. Yeah, we always wanna we always wanna enter combat with a hit from the shield. Having these two healing mages here is annoying as all hell. I'm gonna lose a lot of HP here. See, I, I did an auto parry there. Okay, that's nice. Okay, I just lost so much HP. I need to be way more attentive with my, um, way, way, way more attentive with my stamina. I'm, I'm not paying enough attention at all. We, we should be able to restore most of that, but that was, that was bad play by me there. Bad play indeed. What we got in here? We got ourselves a dagger. Nah, I'm fine with our shield, thank you. But yeah, dealing 76 on, on, a, on a first impact to an enemy is going to be really, really nice. If we can try and always first hit an enemy with that, that's going to be a very good way to go, I think. Very good way indeed. Let's get in there. Light this up. So we, that's another thing we need to focus on as well, trying to break enemies' attacks. Ooh, damn. I forgot that that guy did that. Got to remember, we're going to deal crits against these guys, so these guys are going to be a hell of a lot easier. Uh, what we get here, 10% base damage for shields, that's really nice. Okay, we can destroy those with, um, that nah, I forgot. Nice, got you. So yeah, let's just try and be a little bit more attentive and a little bit more, um, perceptive of what enemies are doing, because otherwise we're going to end up losing a lot more health a lot more rapidly than we already have been. Let's have a look. What relics you got for us? Um, restore 50% of health when a curse is lifted. 45% damage to weakened targets. And 9 constitution. Let's just go for the 9 constitution for now because that's extra max HP. I'll offer gold for that too. Uh, yeah, max HP is much higher now so we should get even more healing which is great. And I'm even going to go for another relic because we've got so much money to spare. It's going to be worth it. I'm really liking our curse management right now. Okay, so this is a very, very annoying room indeed. I'm actually just going to ignore these guys and come on to the next guys. Right. This is a dangerous tactic, but it does it it does work if you do it right. There you go. That's what I meant to do. And uh, no, I'm fine, thanks. So basically, just try and lead them all to the end of the hallway. Whoa, that guy hits big. That guy hits big. I need to be careful about that. Very careful indeed. Boom. Okay, these guys, if they're if they're Champions, like little mini boss ones, we definitely always want to be just using, using our normal hits. 17 healing a hit, though, is a uh, kill, sorry, is very, very nice. He lit, lit that on fire for me, which I immediately destroyed. 
right, let's let stamina get back. If we can get one of the um, relics that gives us more stamina, that would be perfect. That would be absolutely perfect. There you go, he's down. And relic, please give us something good here. 2% um, healing, killing enemy with the environment. 20% minus gold offering. Gold offering removes 15 corruption. And we get extra damage from that one. Let's just go with this one, I think. Um, and we can even offer gold for that as well. I mean, it's not the best in the world, but removing 20 corruption on a gold offering is going to be pretty damn good. Um, so, let's keep going up the question mark path, I think. We didn't fortunately take our first curse there. But again, this far in taking only our first curse is really, 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 really nice. We played this pretty nice. Taking damage causes hallucinations. Basically, it just removes your hood and puts a filter on your screen. It's really nothing too major at all. When I first got that, I was like, oh, cool. It's going to make me, like, imagine enemies and something like that. Nope, it's not that creative at all. It just makes your screen go weird. That's all it does. Okay. Very careful with my stamina management. There you go. Honestly, I could probably farm these guys to get them to keep spawning enemies for me to heal off of. Because we get a lot of healing right now. Um, nah, we're fine for that, thank you. Like, I want to know a more reliable way of weakening enemies. How do we get through here? There's a lot of gold through there. How do I get over there? Can I get over there? There's a lot of gold right there. I want to know. I don't know if I can. Oh, uh, maybe we can just go around. That, that's probably it, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Just stay, stay back. Get him. And we can actually go back and get this gold, which is really nice. Nice and easy. Didn't even have to leave anything. Lovely. I'd love something that makes it able to, like, double the amount of, like, constitution we have or dexterity or one of them, our perception. One of them. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I wonder if we can get the champion healers. I've not seen a champion healer yet, I don't think. Okay, we did just take some corruption damage there, which, of course, isn't ideal. But as you can see, this is what the hallucinations is. It's literally just a black and white filter on your screen. Oh my god, I need to be more careful. A lot of the enemies have a lot more range than I expect them to have. Do not fret though, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. We got ourselves 50% damage to poison attacks and through perception. Not even going to bother taking that. That is not worth much to us at all, sadly. Sadly, not much at all. So our health at the minute isn't exactly the best, but I think we can. I think we can get it back up there. Right, let's let our thingy refresh. See now, that's really not good. I I, do, I keep doing that. I keep actually miss, literally missing this guy because I'm not close enough. Let's get rid of the healer first, shall we? Because the healer's really messing up our day here. Okay, I've messed that up. Ah, oh, stamina, stamina. No! You see what I mean? I make one little mistake with stamina, and it just ends me. It just ends me. But we've, we've, we've got this room now. We've got this room taken care of. There we go. We just need a bit, a bit more max HP so we get more healing. Um, yep, I want to go for everything that restores health on kill. Wait for our stamina to refresh just in case. And again. Got him. Wow, he just literally jumps right into that explosion. Sorry, bud. That's your own fault. Getting a lot of these golden chests right now. Um, we got a little burr. Don't really care about the burr. Still sad we don't have anywhere to sell the these. That would be nice.
I'm just going to take the damage and get the gold. Can, can I su can I survive this? There's a relic back there. In the fire. That's not fair. Can I see my hood, please? Can this hallucination go away? My god, I've got such low health. I took so much damage there. Um, okay, got a relic here. God damn, I took a lot of damage there. I think I got hit by the fire a little bit as well, so that really didn't help. Just give me more max HP so I can heal more. Okay, got another relic there. Nice one. Stop healing everything. There you are. Right, we should be able to kill this guy relatively easily. Oh, we can interrupt his spawning as well. When he spawns an enemy, we can actually interrupt that. Stop trying to hit me. Boom. Right, what we got here? Um, gold offering removes corruption with extra max HP. Um, let's just replace it for that one because it's straight up better because it gives us max HP as well. So that's just an easy, easy take. Let's go for the Corruption Giver first. Then you. You had your opportunity, you missed it. So I got you. And now we're getting 18 healing. Little by little, we're getting more and more. There is a relic out there. Such a such a relic exists that allows us to get... Um... Okay, ooh. I'm so glad that dog missed. Them dogs do a lot of damage. Right, let's wait for the dog to get there. Get close and we'll take him on first. There we, go, we got him. But yeah, such a relic exists that increases our healing from all sources by like 60%. That'd be awesome if we could get that. Okay, this guy, we can just wail on him now. There you go. And 10% of your critical damage also heals you. We have to take that. Um, yeah, let's just take that there. That's so good for us. And that also came with um, four constitution as well. So even better. But that, that is going to be big healing. Especially, especially on the bosses. So if we're, if we're critting for like 80, we're going to get eight healing every single time we hit a champion or boss. Oh, and thank God we got one of these. Let's just use that twice. Little bit of corruption. We are going to take a curse, in fact, here. But that was well worth it. That's put us in the clear. So much so. So much so in the clear that we're uh, probably going to be fine for this next boss here. We would have had a little bit of trouble, honestly, dealing with that next boss. But now we should be fine. Right. I haven't used my shield anywhere near as much as I thought I was going to. Right, we'll let him do his two hits. Do your first. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. He, he never did that before. He's attacking so fast. Oh, I, I'm, I'm perplexed. What's going on? He's much higher than he was before. Before, he'd do two hits, and then he'd chill for a bit. And now he's like, two hits, two hits again. Two hits, two hits again. Give us a bit of breathing room, man. Chill, dude, chill. Oh, goddamn. When that explosion thing happens there, you gotta be real careful. What? Okay, some, so there's some new attacks going on here that I don't particularly understand. Mm, yeah, I could die here. There's some new stuff going on that I don't understand. He only did that attack before. Now he's got all these new fangled ones. What's going on? Right, I've got him back into his normal phase now, though. So it should be okay to deal with. You explode, yeah, you. Do your whippy whippy. There you go. At least we're getting all this healing back. Like, this is a big amount of healing. Right, we'll le leave us to regen a bit. And he's just placing the bombs in such convenient places for us to get out of the way pretty easily. Which is really nice. I'm always going to try and keep one. Okay. I've got to remember that the bombs do chain reaction, though. 
He's gonna change over now. Yeah, luckily he's left a gap for us. Right. Stay out of the way of that attack. Wow. So we can interrupt him a little bit, but not too much. We've got to remember that he always fades away before he does his attacks as well. So we've got a nice little tell. A nice little tell. That's the big one. There you go. We got him. That was definitely more on the edge than last time. Like, we definitely saw some new attacks there and realized why that boss is harder than I thought it was. Um, let's get rid of the hallucinations because that's just annoying. Um, that's really nice. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that. And we got ourselves a pistol, which I do not care about at all. But this is going to be a really nice and effective healing build. If we can just get that one next thing that increases our healing as a whole, uh, that's going to be really good. So let's go for... Let's go for... Oh, I don't know. We need gold. We're not that. We're not actually that strong on gold right now. But if we take this path, we can, we can get a lot of different stuff. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go stats. I'm gonna go stats. I have decided because the stats are normally pretty cheap, and we do have um, a reduced cost. But this is a flaw that I have not experienced at all. So this is all new to me. Ooh, that was, that was stupid. I just kind of stood there and took that. I just kind of stood there and took that one. <laughs> wow. Don't ask me why I'm sitting in darkness throughout this whole thing. I do not know. Not a good idea. Okay, so both these guys are going to heal this dude, so I literally can't kill this guy until we, uh... Until we kill the healers, so let's focus on that, shall we? There we go, got one. Hmm, nice. Thank you for that, dude. Thank you for that. Really? Mm, 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 mm. He dived away right at the wrong time there. We're getting 23 healing a kill and 7 healing a crit, so I think in terms of health, we're going to be mostly fine here. I'm going to make sure to get out of the way of this. Joker. Excuse me, why did I not destroy that? I'm perplexed right now. I am perplexed. This is far more difficult. Just the room layouts alone are more difficult. So, champion enemies are actually like our best friend right now. Like, they're going to be really good for us because they just provide a constant source of healing. Which is really nice for us. Like, look how much healing we got off that guy. Insane. Right, make sure to keep this out. There's more? God damn. Get out of the way of that. Let's our stamina refresh. Take care of this guy. Nice one. Oh my god. Right. It's like a stamina refresh. And in a minute we'll take care of this guy. He gave me 10 corruption on the hit. Oh my god, I'm playing I'm playing bad. It's it's just the stress of it all. There's like no torches or anything in this area either, so I'm taking more damage in general. Like look at that, I just played super sloppy there. I just let him hit me. We wouldn't have all this healing. We'd be in deep doo-doo. Deep doo-doo right now. Is this guy a champion big boy? I think he is, isn't he? That little that little mortar thing is gonna be the worst by far, so let's try and take care of that. Alright, let's make sure we get stamina refreshed or not. Or not. Just, yeah, just keep taking hits. Good, good, good. I really wish we'd have gone to that haven now and healed up. I'm regretting that massively. Okay, I'm starting to realize why the Titan Slayer is terrible. Like, I love it, but it's also super risky to use because just look how much damage we're taking. Yeah, we're healing. That's cool. But we're taking so much damage for the cost of healing that at this point, I'm just questioning whether it's even worth it. 
Like, we're, we're just taking so many hits. And this guy is taking quite the beating, too. Quite the beating. Right, you do your thing. We should be able to finish him off here. If not, I'm going to be scared. Yep. Wow. Okay, so the big guys are actually pretty useful because they give us a big opportunity to heal, which is really nice. Okay. Stats. I literally don't care about the uh, gold find, so let's just go for the max HP. That's just more effective healing, so I'm happy about that. And I'm sure most of you out there are going to be like, just don't use the Titan Slayer. I'm sorry. It's all I know now. It's all I can do. <laughs> Got our next curse. Um, lose as much gold as you take damage. Okay, we, we have zero gold now. Gold is effectively worthless to us because we are just going to lose gold constantly. Oh, God. This is awful. This is a really bad... I'm going to lose all of this gold. All of this gold is so gone. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to like the amount of healing I get off of the back of this if I can manage to not get hit every single time. I need to kill this tiger, though. To be fair, it's, it's giving us a lot more opportunity this time, which is nice. Stop chasing me, you big boy. Just do your swing. There you go. That still hit me. You're kidding me. 162 gold got gone there. This is so like this is so unfair. I've this many champions. Imagine if I didn't have something that critted all champions. I mean, it does stun lock them, which is nice. But apparently that just doesn't work sometimes. Oh my god. I li we literally lost all of it because it spawned one of these guys. Oh my god, I'm so bad at stun locking. I'm just losing so much gold as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die. I'm not prepared for this floor at all. This floor is really difficult. Really, really difficult. My god, I was not expecting this. Um, we have no gold, so that curse is honestly one of the worst ones you can get. It just completely ruins you for buying anything. Completely ruins for buying things. So this room I'm going to get out, the, out of as fast as I can. I don't even care about the gold right now, because it's... It's basically just nothing. That is a champion cat. So I can kind of use these body things as torches, I guess. I can't believe that hit me. The indicator on these guys is way off. Way off. It looks like it's not going to hit yet. It still does. This guy's even a champion, so we deal less damage to him, too. And don't get healing from hitting him. God damn. I really don't like these things at all. Get him. Got him. God damn, we're staying in the game with that healing that we've got right now, but only just, my god, only just. I don't even know why I picked up that gold. Look at, look at my gold. It was doing so well. It's, it's honestly, my, my main flaw in this game is stamina management. Like, and I'm sure that my stamina management would get better if I just, like, used these attacks and, and played normally. And, like, used the automatic parry and everything. But at the same time, I cannot give up using this Titan Slayer. It's too much fun. Like, although it's probably the main thing getting me hit right now, it's really fun, so... 
and it's, it's literally the source of all of my healing, pretty much. I know that I can get crits from other sources, but this is... I, I don't know why that happens, and when it does, it annoys me so much. It's every t it, that's the thing, like, every time I get, like, the healing back and go, like, oh, well, the healing's going well, it's like, nope, nope, you, you were getting hit again here. So we keep, well, we keep, like, getting back above a thousand, then below a thousand, then above a thousand, then below a thousand, constantly. Really? You can be these sort of relics at this level? Can you give me something better? I mean, I might as well just go with Relic and probably try and take it for Corruption, because there is absolutely no way I'm buying anything with gold anymore, which is a big shame. But it looks like we're very much coming towards the end of this journey here, doesn't it? Things are taking so much more damage to kill. Alright, get away you. As long as I can stun lock that big boy, it's not actually that bad. It's just making sure I can stun lock him. It's difficult. And you two jump at me. Stun lock him. Smack you. Again. And let's just wail on this guy. I mean, I could enter combat with a charge up attack. That might work. At least we're getting a lot of crystal skulls here. We are going to get another cast in a moment, though. Eh, it doesn't really do that much. I think there's no extra damage. Okay. That's definitely not worth it, then. I thought that would do a load more damage. Didn't expect you to be able to hit me. I'm guessing you have to be a lot more creative with how you, how you create light on these floors. I'm just not even attempting it. That's my problem. Alright, just keep interrupting him. Let Stamina come back. Interrupt. Let Stamina come back. See, we've gained like 200 HP this room. Let Stamina come back. Interrupt. Yeah, we've gained quite a lot of HP this room, like almost 300. So we're, we're definitely gaining HP in certain rooms. Oh, damn. Have my lights on, please. That's stupid. That was bad. Um, literally all of those are awful. I'm, I'm surprised we're getting such bad stuff suggested, like, given to us at this level. I was expecting the loot to be amazing. Like, legendary and things like that, but no. Not for us today. Okay, that is a champion version of this guy. I did not know they existed. Now I do, and now I'm scared. I imagine they are like, oh my god. I imagine they are like, must kill sort of targets. Like, they will just constantly, yeah, heal. You can't stun lock them out of healing by the looks of it either, which is annoying. Oh wait, no, I think you can actually. I just I just hit him and it did the, it did the noise. And they spawn champions, so that's good to know. Right. Make sure you're stun lock and you. You can get killed. Honestly gain a good amount of health back here. We're getting there. We're getting there. Got him. Alright, what else we got in this room? Nothing, I think. Oh, nope. More enemies down here. For some unknown reason. What we got here? Oh my god. Things just... I, I thought this extra rarity thing would give us loads of good stuff. Nope. Apparently not. At the minute, these guys are just giving me free healing, because they're giving me more targets to kill that are really not that hard to dodge. It does upset me when they do that, though. Really? Come on, now. So close. Look how many targets he's spawning. Wow. There we go. We got them all. We got them all. Yeah, that was a good amount of healing there. Got, got another 400 HP. We're just kind of staying on an equilibrium right now, aren't we? Um... Wasn't there a, a buy thing on this? Wasn't there meant to be a buy thing on this floor? Or am I mistaken? I'm probably mistaken, aren't I? Either that or I missed it, but either way, it's gone. Wait, yeah, this is meant to be a relic room. Oh, and wait, have we already bought the relics? Have we already been to the bit where we buy the relics? I think we have, haven't we? Kind of weird, okay. Guess we're not getting any of those, then. Unless you got to go to this thing, maybe? No, don't think so. Okay, I'll just keep going. Um... 
Let's just go for weapon. I may as well mainly go for weapon because if I get like a cool legendary, I want to use it. Shadow word. Oh, god damn it. This one's so horrible. Enemies are concealed in shadow until light hits them. Very, very annoying. So basically, enemies are going to be invisible until they start attacking. I really hear how it sticks you into the explosions with this bloody weapon. It's so annoying. It's annoying that we're not getting seven healing per enemy critted. It's just seven healing. But I suppose I can't wish the world for this game, can I? Ooh, boy, I took a lot of damage there. Don't worry, we're healing it back up. I would like to make it to the boss, though, and just at least see what it is. I'm hoping we can. And push them onto the spikes. That did work a bit. Surprisingly. Right, wait until we've healed up. You can charge me all you like, sir. Honestly, the, the cats aren't that bad. Like, they do a lot of damage, but they're super predictable. They really choreograph their attacks quite well, which is good. You need enemies like that. Oh my god. That guy came out of the darkness and I did not see him at all. And that guy almost killed himself to spikes. Boom. Oh my god, they just keep coming. Oh, look at that. Got rid of that guy. That's the main guy I need to get rid of. Oh, and he hit me a lot of times. That was a lot of damage. I did not know there was explosives there. That really beat me up. That really beat me up. That was not good at all. That might have ended me. We lost so much HP there. We went from like 1,400 all the way back down. Weapon. We do have a legendary. Okay. Um, each kill permanently increases damage by 5%. Oh my god. Um, that's honestly really good, but we've gotten it way too late. I'm actually not going to take that. I was, I was tempted to take that for the corruption, but we there's just no way we can make that work because it gets 5% per kill. We're not going to be able to get enough kills in the time for this boss to make that work at all. Try and light these braziers. We've not been doing a good job of that recently, so let's try it. Especially while enemies are like doing the shadow thing. Is that a non champion enemy? For once. Right, get these. Light all these braziers. Kill those. Get you. I think I can just get him now. Yep, there you go. He's taken care of. We're at 67. If we manage to... Oh, damn, bad damage. If we manage to get a kill here on this boss, which I doubt we will, because we've not even seen its attack patterns yet. And also, I'm getting wailed on by this tiger. Got him. Stop it. <laughs> get some help. Stop it. Literally just gonna try and stun lock this guy. That's all I'm doing. Stick stick around him, make sure he doesn't get a chance to do his attack. Ooh, bad damage. Stop trying to use your attack. It's not good. Stop it. <laughs> just beat him into a corner. I'm sorry, sir. No. Stop it. Thank you. Now it's time to stunlock you out of attacking. Tiger, I'm not too bothered about. Oh, I can't believe I got hit by that. God damn it. Alright, let's let's stay out the way. Let's get her. Yep, there you go. And you're gonna take quite a few more hits. But like I said, we're getting crits on all these, and I just got hit again for 70. God damn it. There we go. There's more. Oh my god, there's more. They're not even champions either. Oh, that one is. All 
Alright, as long as we can stun lock them, it's good. And they both do the same attack, which is nice. See, weird to see that the champion doesn't have any different attack. Ooh, he hit me with that last attack there. Wasn't oh, good. Not meaning to be hit by that at all. Yeah, that guy's dead. Good, good, good. Okay, we should be able to get this guy in two more stamina bursts, I'd say. One more refill, and then I think he's good to go. Boom, 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 and boom, and boom. Yeah, there you go. I was right. Any more for any more? No. Another legendary. Um, oh, this is actually legendary. This is just... Oh, wait, is it? I don't know. Level. It's level four, but it's like... Thingy. Normal range attacks are ineffective. Perfect shots deal double damage. Oh, that seems terrible. That ain't legendary. Right, we're actually on to the boss here. We are going to get another curse. Four curses on the last boss. This is... This is going to be a very... A very fat loss. Dodging makes it intangible. That's actually kind of nice. When we dodge roll, we can't take damage because we tend to shadows. Ooh. I don't like the look of this. Do not like the look of this at all. What the hell? It's some sort of beastie, and I'm guessing the ground can tend to fire at some point. Yes, it can. And I'm guessing while he's on fire, he does fire damage, maybe? Oh my god. So I'm going to take my hit opportunities when I can, and then just run away. What's he doing now? Oh my god. Ah, ah, fire, fire, fire. Oh my god, that was a lot of fire damage. Boy, this, this seems like just generally quite impossible. Oh yeah, I can I do not know the timing for this guy at all. Damn it. He just constantly hits. He's got so much health as well. Look how much damage we've done. We're not like nothing. Third attack. Yeah. I just don't know when my attack opportunities are. Like, do I have one now or not? What the hell? Oh my god. Nope, I do not have one there. It keeps looking like I have one and I don't. Yeah, I just, I don't understand where my attack opportunities are. I'm not... Yeah, there you go. That was a swift and easy death there. Wow, that was difficult. So, that last floor... Holy damn, that last floor kicks the difficulty up a notch. We had so much healing available to us there. So much going for us, and that was just... That was crazy. Let's see if we've got anything else we can buy here. Because we do have... How many? Uh, 72 of these. We could go for a bunch of divine favors, I suppose. Um... Have a little look. See, any, any of these will help us, Blood Fountains? Nah. Uh, five pieces of gear. That's pretty cool. Let's go for a few more Divine Favors, shall we? Make sure I have three of those. There you go. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. This was a very good one. We had a very difficult challenge towards the end there. I'm glad that we finally saw the last boss, and we'll see if we can beat him in the next episode. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.